Whoa. So, Amazon too? Like, wow. Like, I thought Amazon was invincible with the layoff stuff, man. I think it had so much cash reserve. They were good to go, man. But apparently, they just announced a layoff of 10,000 workers, corporate workers and tech jobs across all divisions of Amazon. That's Prom, that's AWS, that's gaming, that's all of them. They're doing the cut across the board which they're right behind um, Facebook that had 11,000 layoffs. I mean, this shit's getting crazy, bro. Like, I don't even know what, what how to process this anymore. I mean, we had some, some of the smaller companies that was doing the layoffs here and there, 1,000 here, 800 here, 400 here. But when the big boys started laying off, tens of thousands i mean wow i mean this and they gotta be the worst possible time going into the holidays inflation so high interest rates so high and if everybody is laying off where do you find a new job especially so fast there's gonna be thousands of other people looking for jobs too i mean this is kind of like this is like uh silicon valley tech job massacre of 2022 at this point i mean it's getting really ridiculous if once again if you are affected by this please try to keep in good spirits take care of yourself take care of your family keep your mental health good and try to weather the storm because i mean it's it's crazy out here just broke reporting that the company plans to lay off around 100 or sorry 10,000 employees. They're not the only big tech name talking about cost cuts today. Apple shares trading lower this morning after CEO Tim Cook confirmed reports of hiring slowdowns at that company appearing on CBS this morning saying the key to success isn't keeping costs low but investing in the business correctly. As for the Times John, uh, they, the Times does say uh, the total number remains fluid. But if it stays around 10,000, roughly 3% of uh, corporate and less than 1% of their global workforce, obviously more than a million. Yeah, I think the timing here is important. This is happening right before the biggest week or two uh, of the year, of, of the holiday shopping season and Amazon shopping season, also in a year where they, un, in an unusual way, did a second prime day right at the beginning of Q4, and that seemed to be a little lackluster. So Amazon's probably doing this based on some expectations, based on data, and yes, uh, this is what companies do around Q4, is they try to position themselves for the next year, for 2023, based on uh, a reasonable scenario of what they mm. think they can expect.